Mind 101 is a free messaging service between you and your students or your, your parents of your students. It is a safe way for you to interact in the fact that you don't have their cell phone number and they don't have yours. And all communication is recorded. Uh, it's just nice to keep yourself covered that way. So in Remind 101, you click on Get Started and it comes up with a login screen. You'll select your title and then type in your first and last name, your school email account, and then choose a password. I already have an account, so I'm going to click on Sign In. And this is my control screen. As you can see, I've got a couple of classes that I've set up. You can just have one class, like World Cultures, for all of the, your class periods. Or if you teach different things during the day, you could set up different classes, like Math Algebra, Math Accelerated. Um, kind of get the idea that way. If I want to establish a class, I click on the Add and the Plus button. I give the class a name. And then I'm going to give it a custom code. Okay, code is available. I'm going to click Add. So now, what the students and the parents need to see is that they are going to text 918 221 3974, and the message they're going to text is Mrs. Y E L A. And then click OK. And if they do tell you to try it yourself, awesome idea to enroll in your own course. So you will get those text messages as well. And you'll see how they look. You have instructions here for how this is going to look. And you can print these up and send them home with your students. So I can text this. I can also email it. And if you, they sign up by email, they'll get an email every time you send that message out. So I'll click no and go back to my previous screen. So let's say I want to send a message to my World Cultures class. I click on World Cultures and then I'm going to type in a message. The homework sent home today will be due on Friday. Always spell check yourself and then you click the send button and it goes straight out to those people. Now I don't have anybody signed up for this class so I did not um, just text anybody. You can also schedule one to happen later like this one is one that's scheduled for later. So let's say there's a test next week. Test is on Monday. Study the map. I can schedule that for a later date. So let's say I want that to go out on Friday. I can choose the time. Please be aware of AM versus PM so you're not texting people in the middle of the night. Um, so I'm going to send that out at 8 in the morning or 8 in the morning. So I have the date and the time. If that looks good to me, I'm going to click done. And there we have a text scheduled or an email scheduled to go out later. Um, and click on schedule. I can send messages to all of my classes so there's information that applies to everybody. I can just add them to this list. So I'm going to add in ELA, I'm going to add in teachers, I'm going to add in math algebra, and I'm going to say that um, there is no school October 8th. And then I can schedule that for a later date or I could send it off right now. And I'm going to go ahead and schedule it for the 5th of October to be sent out in the afternoon. I'm going to schedule it so on that afternoon that email will go out that there is no school the following Monday. That's the basics of Remind 101. Once people have signed up for your class like I have in Teachers, you'll get a list of who is signed up and you can edit or remove them. So if somebody says, I don't want to get these anymore, you can remove them from your list. Also, uh, be aware of how many text messages you send out. Not everybody has unlimited texting and you don't want to overburden people. So um, let them know ahead of time how many generally emails you plan to send out so they know what they're signing up for. But this is a great replacement for um, news flash on TeacherWeb. So give it a try and let me know how it goes.